Hello everyone and welcome back again to On Our Channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment as well as messages on my Instagram. And if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to drop ship from AliExpress to Shopify in the right way. And what I mean in the right way, I will show you how to get products on AliExpress to your Shopify store with faster shipping that's not available on Aliexpress. Yes, you heard that right. There's some products you will discover on Aliexpress. They will have like a month or more than a month for shipping. And that's not really good for drop shipping. So in this video, I will show you how to find those particular products to add to your Shopify store, but with faster shipping. And the maximum I mean in 15 days. And you will not pay like 20 or $25 for shipping for 15 days, as I said, no. You would actually pay very little, sometimes less than a half of the price of the product and you will be able to ship it to your United States in 15 days. And as I said, even if the option is not available in the product space on AliExpress. And I do have some really good advices for you in this video because a lot of videos on YouTube about this subject, they tend to miss out on this when it comes to important pictures and products and so on. So in this video, I will show you how to do all of that plus some bonus tips and the best one is how to find trending products on AliExpress because you might already know this the product plays a very big role in influencing your success rate no matter how good your store is or how good the creative ads is if the product is not good or it's not a winner you will not make any sales from it so in this video i will show you how to find trending products on aliexpress as well and they will be based on sales and obviously that means it's a winning product and i will show you how to add this product to your shopify store completely free and as i said get faster shipping with the same product that's not available on aliexpress and without any more talking let's just jump to it so as you can see i'm accessing aliexpress right now and we will get back to it afterwards to show you how to find trending products as well as finding some products on aliexpress and add it to our shopify store with faster shipping that's not available on aliexpress so we will use a tool and by the way all the things i've showed you in this video will be for free and you will find all the links in the description box so the tool that will be used is Zendrop. So Zendrop is a supplier for dropshipping. However, they offer a tool to help to import any product from AliExpress directly to your Shopify store, even if it's not available on their supplier platform. So just scroll down the description box, you will see the link for Zendrop or simply type in zendrop.com as you can see. And after that, click on create your free account because as I said, everything we'll use is, is completely free. You do not have to pay anything or even add your credit card number or anything like that. So after you create your account, and I already did that, and it's really simple, just enter your email and phone number and verify your email and so on. So let's just sign in to my account. And after you did sign up for Zendrop, you should see this message right here. It says connect your store to Zendrop. And obviously you are using Shopify, right? So simply click on Shopify and in here you will paste in the URL for your Shopify store and not the domain name that you did sync your Shopify store with but actually the handle which is the subdomain for Shopify and to avoid any mistakes or anything like that simply open up Shopify and let's just copy it from there so let's just log in into my Shopify account so this is my testing Shopify store and this is the URL for it so I'm going to copy the subdomain for it which is my uh, Shopify handle and make sure you do copy it without the HTTPS and all of that and get back to Zendrop and simply paste it in here and click on connect and after that it will redirect you to Shopify dashboard and it will ask you to install the app which is the Zendrop for dropshipping so just click on the green button that says install app and give it a couple of seconds and it will get back to Zendrop app or the Zendrop supplier platform to find products and by using this particular platform we will add any products from Aliexpress directly to our Shopify store and as I said I have some really good bonus tips for you in this video and the first one as I said is getting faster shipping for a product that you did find on Aliexpress but it takes like a month or a month and a half in order to be shipped to United States however that's not good for drop shipping the days of 20 to 25 days shipping is over you either get 10 days the maximum or 15 days the maximum or just give up on the product so let's just get back to Aliexpress here and let's just try to find a product and we will see the shipping time for it and I guarantee to you it will be more than a month because that's what the Aliexpress shipping time takes and we will try to find that product on the Zendrop 
and with faster shipping. And after that, I will show you how to find trending products from a hidden place on AliExpress and we will use some products from there to add it to our Shopify store directly from AliExpress by using the Zendrop tool, as I said. So let's just search, for example, for uh, some product that has to do with pets. Okay, let's just go for this one, uh, hair, uh, pet hair removal. Let's just click on it and check out some products from here, which is this one right here. Let's just go for this one. So this particular product, it is really good actually. It has over uh, 5,000 orders and it costs like uh, $2.83. And check out the shipping for it. It's the free shipping and it will be delivered in 21 May. And the time of recording this video, by the way, is 22 March. So how long is that? Is two months? It's actually two months. So two months in order to ship this product for free shipping. However, if we select some other shipping methods for this one that will be shipped for two dollars and fifty it will be arrived in 21 april which is like a month so it will take a month to be shipped to united states and it will cost us two dollars let's just check out how that will cost us and how fast we'll be on zendrop so we will do the same in here we will search for this particular product on zendrop so let's just search for pet hair removal here is the same product yeah, this is the same product. Yeah, it's the same, the exact same product. So let's just check this product, how much time it will take us to deliver the product. So the product costs $1, which is the same, I think. It's actually less, so it costs less. And the shipping will be uh, $5. However, it will only take 15 days to be shipped to United States because the shipping place we, we did select here is United States. So instead of paying like uh, uh, $2.50 for a month of shipping, you can actually pay the double, which is not that much, is $5, and it will be delivered in 15 days. And this product will easily go for $15 or $20, so the margin is pretty big. I don't think it's a problem that you pay $5 for the shipping to get faster shipping, and the customer will be happy, right? And by the way, if you are doing drop shipping in some other country, you can click on the shipping here and select the other country, for, for example, Australia, and it will show you the cost of shipping and the time as well is 15 days because that's the minimum on Zendrop. And right now, let's just get to the next bonus tip, which is how to find trending products on AliExpress. And we will use that particular product, someone that's trending on AliExpress, and we will use it to add it to our store without using the products from Zendrop. We will only use their tool, which would help us to add any products, even if it's not available on Zendrop. So let's just get back to AliExpress. So the first thing you need to do in order to find the hidden place where you can find all the trending products on AliExpress will be based on sales. You will simply need to click on the URL and remove everything from off.com. Let's just remove the numbers as well and replace the www and all the HTTPS and all of that. Simply replace it with best, just like you see on the screen right now. And I will also put a link for it in the description box. After that, simply hit enter and give it a couple of seconds and you will see this AliExpress page, which is really similar to the homepage of AliExpress, but it's not actually. So let me show you that. So just scroll down a little bit and you will see this weekly deals and below it right here, you will see the section it says top rankings. And on the right of it, right here, it says view more. Simply click on it and it will show you some products for each category here. And each one has the message like top trending. For example, if we did click on this smart accessories in here, you will see the top trending based on followers and sales on add to wish list. For example, the first one in here is the number one and it has gold color. The second one will has the silver color as you can see, which is the second and the third will have the bronze color and so on. So this is number one, number two, number three, four, five, six and so on. So they are ranked by the sales and the first one is the most selling one when it comes to smart accessories. And this is the top trending product for the smart accessories. And you can do the same in here. It will show you each category and the trending products for it. For example, let's just go for this particular product and we will add it to our Shopify store by using Zendrop import tool to import the product directly from here. So let's just click on it and open it in new tab. So the first thing you're going to do is copy the link for it. So let's just copy the link for the product. And after that, get back to the Zendrop tool, sorry, and get back to find products in here. Simply click on it. And after that, simply type in something in the search bar that doesn't mean anything, just a long text like this. And 
simply to confuse the Zen drop and hit enter and it will show you sorry we couldn't find any match however below it you will see import from aliexpress so simply click on it and it will ask you for the product url here and you know what to do right simply paste in the product and click on import button right here and after that it will redirect you to the import list and it will show you the product here and as i said i have some bonus tips for you and the first one is the tags i saw a lot of people miss out on this do not miss out on this make sure you do add tags that's relevant to the product that will help search engine discover or index your product page correctly so anyone who looking for this product if you did search for this exact keyword you will find your product page on the search result and that's really important because that's basically free traffic so make sure you add proper tags that's related to the product on your shopify store so below it right here you should see the product type here let's just type in smartwatch and in here you will see collection and let's just scroll down and let's just go for tech accessories and let's just move to the second option which is description and this is important as well make sure you do type in your own description make sure you do make your own description do not use the descriptions from aliexpress from here that's not really good descriptions from aliexpress is really bad so make sure you do use or make your own description and for i forgot one thing as well as the title the title for the product plays a very big role and as you can see the title in here is pretty long so there is no customer who read all of this you need to name your product for the customer not from a robot to read your your product page that's for the tags and description below it and so on and if you are interested in how to name your product correctly on shopify make sure to check out my channel because i did make that video and i did show a really good example i did find a product randomly and i put it in front of me and i start brainstorming uh, keywords or really good words that has to do with the product and it will be really good as the product title and i did name that product live on that video which is how i do my videos so if you are interested in that make sure to check out my channel and the next option here which is the variants and make sure you do pick every variant from the product that you want on your store and the next option here which is the images and this is really important so the images i do recommend you do not select those images and simply uh, add them all to your store that will make the product page load really slow and as well as naming the picture for the product as the product name and that's really important for the search engine as i said so make sure you do not select the pictures from here but instead download the picture from the aliexpress product page and use the compressor to compress those images to make the size really small then upload them to your shopify store from the product page where you add your description and title and so on and make sure you do not use this online uh, image compressors because uploading a picture to an online website and download it again and uploading it to your shopify that will affect the quality on your pictures so make sure to use the standalone app on your desktop to compress the pictures then upload them to your shopify store just do your research there is a lot of software that can do that and if you don't know which one you use or which one you pick just drop me a comment and i would recommend you uh, the best ones i think works the best on windows or mac or whatever you use so as i said make sure to you do compress the pictures because before uploading them and name the pictures files as the product title and the last step in here which is click on import to store right here so let's just pick just a couple yeah let's just leave those just to show you that it will import everything to the website so let's just click on import to store and it will show you this message basically it's telling you that there is some delays that happen sometimes because some products will be fulfilled by the supplier not zen drop themselves and as well as the production delays so just click on got it and click on confirm and give it a couple of seconds and it will say your product has been imported and let's just get back to our shopify store to see if it's actually was imported or not so let's just hit back here and click on the um, product page and let's just scroll down to, and here it is as you can see this is the exact product that we did pick and the pictures we did select and this is just for demonstration as i said make sure you download them and compress them and name them as the product file then upload them to your shopify store and one last bonus tip is make sure you do use the search listing right here so the search listing description the title and so on does not affect the product page title the things that you did put in here are not the things that will show up 
right here on the products page this is just how the search engine will show your products page and make sure you do optimize this for the search engine and put description optimized based on keywords that has to do with product which is in this case is a smartwatch so that's how you drop ship from aliexpress to shopify in the correct way as i said so you can have everything perfecto like the spanish say in order to succeed in your dropshipping journey and as i said if you have any questions during any video request make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me i do reply to each comment as well as messages on my instagram and if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one